Good morning. Happy Monday. Hope y'all had a good weekend and were able to relax and enjoy the beautiful weather that we've been having. Today is Monday, March 30th. It's day 136 of the school year. I'm gonna go over our new plan that we have for the week. It's our last week before spring break, so I need you to make those brains bigger, really concentrate this week, and show me all the good things that you are up to. So you're gonna start your day off by doing our daily calendar, weather, and school tally chart. Then you're gonna move into choosing your two new jobs for the week. Whatever you did last week, I want you to switch it up and do something totally different this week, just like we do in class. You're gonna do a spelling activity with your new spelling words, which have either the OA or the OW pattern. So sometimes these words can sound similar, but the more you practice, the more you will see the patterns come out in the words. You're gonna do a page in your grammar book wherever you left off. And then you're going to log into RAS, which is maybe new for some of you. Some of you have been using this. Um, the login is in our Google Classroom under logins. And I have assigned books to you based on your reading level. So these are books more like I would give you in your red folders or we would read in our small groups during reading, guided reading. Um, in your journal, you're gonna write about your weekend. I want at least six sentences and a picture. And then you're gonna take a go noodle break. This is really good for Mondays because Mondays are sometimes hard to get back into school, whether you're at school or at home. Mondays are kind of rough sometimes, so take a go noodle break. It's a perfect day for that. Then we're going to be doing a science experiment this week. And if we were in school, we were going to be building contraptions to hold an egg, not a hard boiled egg, a fresh egg. And then we were going to drop our contraptions and see if we could keep the egg intact. So this is called an egg drop experiment. I have two videos for you. One you're gonna watch today, one you're gonna watch tomorrow. And then by the end of the week, you're gonna be building your contraption to put your egg in and dropping it from different heights. I'm kind of bummed we're not in school because if we were in school, Friday, the fire department was coming and they were gonna put up their big ladder out of their truck and drop our eggs from up above. So sadly, we're not gonna to get to do that part, but you are gonna to get to build your contraptions at home and drop them from different heights. So you're gonna first start, and we'll talk more about this later in the week, but I just wanna give you a snippet so that you can kind of start planning um, your what you're gonna build. So first you're gonna drop it from just the height of how high you can hold your arm. Then you can go to the first story of your house. Um, that would be like um, where I am right now, I'm kind of on our first deck and drop it from up here. And if it's if it still hasn't broken, you can go up to the next story, which is the deck right there that I'm pointing to, and I would drop it from there and see if you can make it successful and not break it. So today, all I want you to do, you don't need to build anything. There is about a 10 minute video that I've uploaded um, along with this message. So you'll be able to watch that and kind of get an idea. Tomorrow you'll watch another video and then you'll start kind of planning yours out. So don't panic and have to build today. You're just watching and just starting the process of thinking about how you would like yours to look. All right guys, I hope you have a great day. Uh, reach out to me if you need anything and happy Monday.